Okay, so um, good day everybody and uh, thanks to attend our today webinar. I think that we are almost ready to uh, start. And uh, I am Giorgio Rossi and I am the Jackson International Sales Manager and today I will be your host uh, in this uh, presentation. Um, I am very glad to introduce uh, our today guest uh, that uh, is the presenter but it's also a very dear friend because we study together at the university and he is uh, architect uh, Hugo Wilfredo Torres Reina and uh, he is uh, the president, the CEO of Restauro Sacca that is a big company uh, specialized in restoration survey in Peru and so uh, today together with uh, um, architect Wilfredo we will see a project that he has conduced uh, uh, in the restoration field in Peru. So, um, I just uh, give some information in Spanish for our Spanish friends. Uh, so, uh, buen día a todo el mundo y gracias para asistir a nuestro seminario gratuito de hoy. Yo soy Giorgia y soy la uh, gerente de la ventas internacionales de, de Jexel y uh, hoy uh, seré um, el su anfitrión. Y me gusta presentar muchísimo el nuestro, el nuestro invitado, que es el arquitecto Hugo Wilfredo Torres Reina que es un uh, clarísimo amigo y es uh, el uh, director e ejecutivo de la Restauro SAC, que es una um, uh, sociedad muy, muy larga en Perú. Y ahora mm, no quiero molestar uh, el vuestro tiempo más y así podemos empezar la uh, presentación de hoy. Um, Jexel um, is an honor to, to host uh, architect Wilfredo Torres Reina, who will present the restoration project of the uh, Basilica Nuestra Señora de la Mercedes de Patia in Peru, where the um, 3D laser scanner technology have been, uh, have been applied to the, uh, as build documentation to the uh, analysis of the structure foundation and also to uh, control or the uh, 3D deformation. Um, thanks to this presentation, um, you will concretely experience uh, how the laser scanner usage, but also the digital photogrammetry and uh, the uh, and, and integrated software packages can speed up and support all the uh, survey project. Uh, the entire project has been realized using the JRC 3D Reconstructor software that is the well world uh, wide known software for the complete later data processing and also Pixar Cube that is uh, the uh, photogrammetry software to um, enable to recreate the reality start starting from the pictures, um, standard images as well as uh, UAV1. Um, ah sì, Jexel è onorata di presentare l'architetto Ugo uh, Wilfredo Torres Reina che presenterà il progetto di restauro della eh, Basilica di de Nuestra Signora della Mercedes de Patia in Perù, dove ehm, uh, l'architetto ha uh, applicato la tecnologia del eh, laser scanner 3D e uh, para la documentazione 3D, para l'analisi della fondazione delle strutture e para il controllo della deformazione 3D. E, grazie a questa presentazione e, e spero che voi altri uh, potreste sperimentare concretamente l'utilizzo della tecnologia laser scanner e della fotogrammetria digitale e di un pacchetto software uh, integrato che può realmente uh, accelerare e um, aiutare tutto il progetto di uh, restauro. E uh, tutto il progetto è stato realizzato con l'utilizzo del software JRC 3D Reconstructor per il manejamento dello stato 3D e con il software Pixar Cube per il manejamento della immagine. Pixar Cube è un software um, specialmente utilizzato per um, la fotogrammetria. Ora finalmente mi allegra passare la parola all'architetto Wilfredo che eh, può empiezare la presentazione di oggi. E now I'd like to pass the floor to Willy, uh, who will uh, start to introduce uh, uh, and to talk about uh, his project. So I repeat, Willy uh, will talk in Spanish and we will have also some time for the English translation. So Willy, I'm very glad to pass the floor, the floor to you. Buena, ok. ¿Qué tal? Buenos días, gracias Georgia por la presentación. Estoy muy contento de poder 
contarles nuestra experiencia como proyectistas y también como ejecutores de obra en un proyecto ejemplar por el tipo de problemática que, que contemplamos cuando hemos tenido que hacer la intervención. Eh, la construcción de esta iglesia es una iglesia muy particular. Se dio más o menos en el año de 1960. Primero se construye la parte más digamos, más, más morfológicamente más difícil. Segundo, se construye el edificio que está en la, parte, en la parte trasera. Y en tercer momento se construye esta pequeña capilla. El culto de la Virgen de las Mercedes es un culto que viene desde los años 1300 aproximadamente. Y en Paita, que es la ciudad donde hemos hecho la intervención, se puede decir que es que es algo muy, muy importante. Eh, la iglesia original del culto de la Virgen de Mercedes se encuentra en la parte baja de la ciudad, frente al mar, y nos encargaron este proyecto hace aproximadamente un par de años. La basílica es este volumen de aquí, las tres cruces es este volumen, y esta es una casa de retiros que da servicios adicionales a todo este gran complejo, que es el complejo de Nuestra Señora de las Mercedes. Georgia. Okay, thank you very much, Willy. So, uh, the building is composed by two structures, uh, the main one uh, of the Basilica, uh, that was built up uh, uh, in the 1960, and the second one uh, of the uh, Tres Cruces Church uh, on the right, uh, that, uh, 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 sorry, let me go back. Okay, here we are. So, the main one is the Basilica, that, and here you can see the, the vault, and on the right you can see the Church of the Tres Cruces, that was built up around the 1918. And behind uh, the two churches, uh, there is a third building, that is a very regular one, whose construction time in, is in between the 1960 and uh, uh, 1980. So, uh, the main building, Basilica, has a surface of around 100 and 300 square meters and presents a particular and unique architectural structure, especially related to the roof geometry that is a huge concrete vault. Uh, the devotion uh, of the Nuestra Señora de la Mercedes de Patia is uh, highly, highly heard felt in Peru. And the original church that was built up in the 17th century was too small to accommodate persons and pilgrims who every day visited the site. So, for this reason, the new basilica was built bigger and on the upper hill of the city, preserving the old church of the 16th century that will be restored in the near future. Now uh, we can, um, just to give you uh, an overview of the project, uh, we can, um, we have just opened the Reconstructor project. So, uh, Willy, if you want to add some information while we are showing the project in uh, JRC, you can, I mean, uh, uh, add any kind of information you considered useful. Okay. El proyecto consistió en hacer una consolidación estructural de los edificios que se pueden observar por la magnitud del proyecto y también por la morfología complicada del edificio se tuvo que utilizar tecnología láser escáner teníamos muchos problemas en conseguir la información necesaria pues no existían planos no habían dibujos eh, un sistema convencional de levantamiento no nos podría dar la información necesaria y muy minuciosa que se necesitaba para hacer un análisis estructural y decidimos utilizar un láser escáner apoyándonos en el software de Hexel que es el JRC Reconstructor y también con el PixRQ creo que sí eso sí okay uh, so the the main thing was that uh, um... Uh, we'll use the laser scanner technology, especially for the complexity of the building, because as we will see in the presentation, the building, uh, and also as you can see here in the project, uh, 
uh, is not a standard building, especially for the roof, uh, I mean, uh, um, composition for the roof structure. And so in order to have a 3D uh, complete knowledge and documentation, and in order also to uh, catch uh, all the parts, especially the higher one with a, uh, with a complete details of each area, the laser scanner has been pretty, pretty useful. And thanks also to the um, Jaxel software uh, that uh, speed up and help all the elaboration, uh, it was uh, possible to create a complete documentation of the project, a project that was uh, uh, much more, how can I say, structured, especially for the um, uh, for the uh, restoration and for the reinforcement especially of all the foundation um, of the churches.